Hey, what is up guys? DRC3 here, back with another My Hero Ultra Impact video, and today we're going to be talking about the new club's future. Now, before we even get into this video, yes, my club is full, but my Discord has sub clubs for you guys, and those sub clubs, some of them are hardcore, some of them are casual. We have a JP exclusive sub club for the Discord, so if you don't have a club yet, or you want to be in a somewhat competitive club, go down to the link below join my discord check out those clubs they're going to be some really cool clubs going on uh not just my own but here today i'm going to be talking about what clubs is and what you guys need to do so if you tap into the clubs menu it's basically like guilds is just another word for guilds i guess they didn't want to call it guilds because it doesn't feel right for this type of anime type thing and they didn't want to call it a hero agency because you can have villains in it as you see right here with the new dobby so you can have up to 30 members in a club and here's some things i learned as a club creator today there is an application limit. You can only have up to 30 applications at a time. And if you have 30 applications sitting pending, that means other people cannot apply to your club. So keep that in mind. You can also have a max member limit of 30 members in a club, which is why unfortunately I did have to deny some people access to the club. I went with the people who had the highest battle power in my club because eventually clubs are probably going to lead to things like raids or things that require basically high battle power. And I need people with high battle power that play the game frequently to be successful, right? So that's why I accepted the people I accepted, just to let you know if you didn't get in, it's nothing personal. I just went with the people with the highest battle power. And I know that's what a lot of other clubs are gonna be doing, so it is a good time to be working on your characters, doing your ability boards, leveling up your characters, get everything, you know, kosher, and you have a higher chance of being accepted into different clubs. Unless you're going into a casual club, some clubs just will accept anybody, which is great. So uh, there's clubs for everybody. Like I said though, in my Discord, if you guys want to check out those clubs, make sure you go check those out. So this is the club menu we're looking at right here. I'm gonna go through the club menu with you guys and the different things you see. You can see all these different people's like information stuff if you tap them and you can see what they do. So this is my character right here. You can see the last time I logged in. You can see my rank and all that good stuff. So let's say we tap on Mast right here. We have a rank 98. He logged in 49 minutes ago and he has a total character BP of 4,769,000, which is pretty good, right? And so this is also what a lot of probably potential leaders and sub leaders are going to be using to take a look at who is active and inactive in their clubs and if you are inactive for a certain amount of days I haven't even decided on my amount of days personally uh, you might end up getting kicked from your clubs if it's a hardcore club or whatnot but if it's a casual club they might just let you hang around so just keep that in mind as you go into these clubs that is something that does exist leaders can look at your most recent login and decide whether they want to keep you in the clubs or not then if you tap this menu right here you can see the ranking coming soon so clubs are going to be ranked this club that i have is going to try to be one of the top clubs we'll see if it ends up happening but we'll try we'll give it a good shot and you can also have a leader and a sub leader as you can see i am the leader of this club i got the nice little leader emblem here and then i have mass below me who is the sub leader he's also a mod in my discord which is why he is the sub leader and then you got everybody else in the club and as the leader i can go in i can look at people's info all that same stuff i showed you before Whereas if you just tapped on the character in the club menu screen, here's the approval screen right here. And as you can see, I've had quite a few more people uh, apply in like the last, you know, few minutes, but unfortunately my club is full. I have 29 people. I have one person pending who is going to be in the club. So it, it's pretty much full at this point. And unfortunately, unless someone's inactive, uh, there is no more room. But if someone is inactive, I will be kicking people who are inactive and I will be replacing them because we want to have, you know, the best club possible. But once again, that's because this is a hardcore club and not a casual club so just keep that in mind and then if we take a look at chat here's what the chat looks like the chat you have where you can post messages you can post different stickers and things like that so i'll go ahead and just post a message here it doesn't matter i'm going to press random keys right we're going to press done and we're going to press send message and the chat looks phenomenal i really really like the way they did it and then over here you have the report tab this is where you'll get reports on like shoda aizawa is awakened ochaka or araka's basic route 
is uh, being worked on, stuff like that. And then you go and like these. And you want to make sure you're liking these whenever you can because it is a mission. And I'm about to go over the missions here in a second. But yeah, so here's one piece of advice I would give anybody that is in a club or running a club or anything like that. On this reports tab, try to keep the stamps out. Try not to put stamps in the reports tag to in the report tab too much because you want to be able to see everybody's progress over here to do the likes. Because after a certain amount of posts, right? you lose the previous post for the report tab. You won't be able to go back and see them. And so because you won't be able to go back and see them, that means people lose their chance to like certain reports. So keep the stamps if you can over in the chat to the best of your ability. It also just makes it easier for people to go through and look at reports and like them. And the reason that's important is if you go into missions, you'll have daily missions, which are like, like one activity report. Well, that's easy enough to like one, but then there's ongoing missions over here that say like 50 activity reports. So I mean, 50 activity reports is a lot. And so you don't wanna be like spamming up that channel for the reports with stickers. So that's just a little piece of advice. That's what I would do personally. Uh, you know, whatever club you're in, they run it how they want. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so for the missions, let's talk a little bit about the missions here. The ongoing missions reach club level six. You can go all the way up to club level 20 and you get hero gems, I believe starting at level 18. We'll have to take a look somewhere around there. And then level 20, you get your final sticker. So club level can go all the way up to level 20. You have send messages and chat 100 times. This is actually the third mission that uh, starts as a send it 10 times and you get so much gold each time the reward increases. So I kept the sticker one at 50, at 50 so you guys can see the difference in reward. So doing the 50 50 stickers in chat gives you 100,000 gold. Doing 100 messages in chat gives you 300,000 gold. And so eventually, let's say we complete the stickers, then we would have to do 100 stickers and we would get the 300,000 gold for that. And this only goes up to 100, I believe, for now for all the missions. They might add on to it. So once you've done your 100 messages, once you've sent your 50 stickers, once you've set, or sorry, your 100 stickers, and then once you've done your 50 likes for a sorry, 100 likes for activity reports, it's 100 for each of them, then you will be done with the ongoing missions for clubs as they are currently, right? And then besides that, the only other mission you're gonna have is visit the club lobby for a total of seven days. Once you hit seven days, that does extend itself to another like 14 days or something like that. We'll have to take a look at the exact missions uh, to see. But yeah, the missions are pretty straightforward and pretty simple right now. I don't know if they're going to add other things later on that are a little more complicated than this. I would assume so, being that we have the special tab right here with no special missions. So it'll probably be like special missions to earn hero gems, hopefully that are like do this thing, this thing and this thing as a club in game and earn this many points. So that'll be cool as well. I don't know how much XP it actually takes to level up your club uh, per level if it goes up or not. I think it's been going up in points so right here at the bottom where it says next club level in 960 points uh that is how many more points my club as a whole needs to reach level six and so once we reach level six i do believe that overall point amount that you need goes up and that increases with each level and the way you earn points for your club is right here on the missions tab as well if you look at send 100 messages in chat where you look over to the right next to rewards it says 10 points when you do that, it'll give 10 points to your club. So I'll show you guys that right now. We're at 96 messages. We'll send four more. That way I can show you guys how that works. So we'll just send random things. And it's important to note that if you try to send too many messages too fast, it's they have this weird filter thing that says, cannot currently send chats or stickers. Please try again later. That will pop up. That's if you try to do it too quickly with stickers or with messages. So just wait a second and then redo it and you can do it again. And so what a lot of people in my club have been doing is they will send, you know, 50, 60 stickers just all in a row, right? Get out of the way quickly. And that's perfectly okay. And I would recommend doing that in your club too. Hopefully your club is all right with that. Send your messages, send your random stickers, stuff like that so that you get through them all. And then you will be able to complete the missions because right now that is a great gold farm, especially considering they changed the gold farm on the events. So if we go to ongoing missions right here, you can see the next club level is in 940 points. So someone else besides me currently is doing their missions, but we have completed our send 100 messages in chat. We're going to hit claim. We're going to get 300,000 gold for that. And we also lowered the club points from 2000 
uh, 309 or sorry we raised our overall amount that we've earned from 2390 to 2400 and now we only have 930 points left to go as a club to get to the next level and as you can see the message mission has gone away so it's 100 messages 100 stickers and 100 liked activity reports to get all of those missions done and you want to make sure you're doing those to help your club out and to help grow your club as of right now that is pretty much everything there is to do with clubs we'll see what they introduce in the future if they introduce a raid mode if they introduce uh what the special missions are going to be stuff like that and if you guys enjoyed the video if this helped you out with understanding clubs at all please go down there hit that like button hit that subscribe button and thank you guys for watching peace